Hello, Wilson Kindergartners. It's Mrs. T here, and I heard some exciting news. I heard you were going on a bear hunt today. So I thought I would share one of my very favorite books about bears, A Gift Bear for the King. It's written by Carl Memling, and it's illustrated by one of my very favorite author illustrators, Lillian Holbin. There once was an old man and an old woman who lived in a hut in the forest. They were very poor, but they had a little bear cub for a friend. This bear cub could stand on his front paws. He could add and spell. He could wash dishes. And what a lovely singing voice he had. The old man and the old woman loved to hear him sing himself to sleep at night. And so did all the forest birds. One day, a man rode by the hut. He called out, our king is having a birthday. Our king is having a birthday. The old man and the old woman were very fond of their king. So they went inside and got busy looking for a birthday gift. They looked all around the hut, but found nothing. Oh, they said sadly, if only we had something fine enough to send the king. But you have, said the bear cub. Why not send me? Their little bear cub? A gift bear for the king? Oh, at first they refused. Why not, said the bear cub. Send me. What must be, must be. The old man sighed and got a gift card. The old woman tied the card around the bear cub's neck. How pretty he looked. Go now, gift bear, they said sadly. You must get to the king on time for his birthday. I will, said Gift Bear. Don't get lost, they said. I won't, said Gift Bear. Down the road he went, and as he went, he sang the song. I'm the Gift Bear for the king, and I won't stop for anything. The road he followed went past fields and farms and over hills and streams. He had not gone too far when he saw the circus tent with a sign on it that said, closed. Gift Bear stopped. I wonder why it's closed, he said. I'll find out and then be on my way. He looked around and at last he found the circus owner. Hello there, he said. Is anything wrong? The owner nodded. I had to close my circus because I am no acrobat. Somehow I'll have to get an acrobat, he said. Let me see, said Gift Bear. I can stand on my front paws. What a fine idea. A gift bear as an acrobat. At once the circus owner took down the closed sign and put up another sign. In big bold blazing letters the new sign said, the one and only world famous gift bear come one come all to see his acrobatic tricks today. A big crowd came to the circus. There was a loud, long roll of drums. And then the gift bear went all the way across the high wire on his front paws. Next, he did some fancy flip-flops. Then he flew on the flying trapeze and everybody clapped and cheered for the daring bear cub. Days passed and weeks passed. Everywhere the circus went, the gift bear went along until at last, another acrobat came. Goodbye, called Gift Bear to all his circus friends. Down the road he went again, and as he went, he sang his song. I'm the Gift Bear for the king, and I won't stop for anything. It was not long before he came to a little schoolhouse. In front of the school, by the side of the road, seven gloomy children sat. Gift Bear stopped. Oh, this won't take long, he thought. I have a way with children. In his most cheerful voice, he called, Hello there, why so gloomy? That's why, said the children, pointing behind them. We have a school, but we have no teacher. Without a teacher, what good is a school? Now let me see, said Gift Bear. What must be must be, but this must not be. I can add, I can spell, and someone must teach these children. What a 
fine teacher Gift Bear was. He wore eyeglasses and he wrote on the blackboard with chalk. Gift Bear taught the children one plus one. He taught them ABC. He even taught them how to stand on their hands. Gift Bear taught and taught and taught the children until at last another teacher came. Goodbye, said Gift Bear springing up. I must be on my way. And down the road he went again as fast as he could, singing his song, I am the Gift Bear for the King and I won't stop for anything. Soon. He came to an end. Oh, I can't stop here, said Gift Bear. I must get to the king on time. Just then, the innkeeper came running out. Stop, he called. Stop, stop, stop. Gift Bear sighed and stopped. Anything wrong, he asked. Come, said the innkeeper. See for yourself. They went inside, and the innkeeper pointed to at least a thousand dishes in a great pile on the floor. If I can't get these dishes washed, he said, I'll have to close the inn. Would you, by any chance, know of a good dishwasher? I would, said Gift Bear sadly. I can wash dishes. Gift Bear started washing. He washed dishes and dishes and dishes. Oh, how glad Gift Bear was when at last they were finished. Goodbye, he called. He ran down the road until he came to the king's palace. Well, hello, said Gift Bear to the guards at the gate. Happy birthday to the king. All the guards glared at the gift card. They said, the king's birthday was months ago. Why didn't you get to him on time? I stopped for a few things, said Gift Bear. That's no excuse for being late, roared the guards. Lock him up in the dungeon, bellowed the captain of the guard. And into the dungeon they shoved poor Gift Bear. Clang went the dungeon door. Gift Bear was all alone. Don't be sad, he told himself, but he was very sad and he sang a sad song. I was the Gift Bear for the King, but I stopped for everything. Once I was glad, but now I'm sad, locked up here in the King's dungeon. My, what a lovely singing voice that is, said some bluebirds on the palace wall. And what a sad and lovely song. Off flew the bluebirds, and as they flew, they sang the bear cub's sad song. Oh, poor gift bear. Many days went by. Many, many days. At last, one day, the dungeon door opened. The captain of the guard came in, and then the king came himself came in. Next, the innkeeper came in, then the school children, and then all of Gift Bear's circus friends. Gift Bear, his friends told him. We heard the bluebirds sing your song, so we came to tell the king why you were late. Good little helpful Gift Bear, said the king. I didn't even know you were here. I want to thank the old man and the old woman for sending you, said the king. Can you take them to me, the king asked. I can, said Gift Bear. Do you know the way, said the king. I do, said Gift Bear. They all went down the road until they came to the hut in the forest. Gift Bear and the king went in. The king said to the old man and the old woman, a thousand thanks for the finest gift ever sent to King. I want you to live in the palace with Gift Bear and me, the King said. Will you come? They will, said Gift Bear. What must be, must be. So down the road they all went again. And as they went, Gift Bear danced and sang. I'm the Gift Bear for the King and I didn't stop for anything. Well... Hardly anything. The end.
Thanks for listening with me and I hope you have a great bear hunt today. Bye!